Hello everybody and welcome to another YouTube video. This is one that I had quite a lot of uh, requests for, which is how I store my pen pal letters and ephemera and envelopes. Um, I do like to use my envelopes in an upcycle kind of way. There are some envelopes that I do hold on to, which you will see in here. Um, but I really love being able to upcycle things from envelopes, whether I put them into my creative journal, uh, which you would have seen in my uh, journal flips through of 2020. And I also like to reuse them for mail, mail art and um, this is like my little scrapbook of pen pal things which you will see. Uh, is a bit of an unpopular opinion but if you get a letter from me it's yours to do whatever you wish with it. I don't care whether you tear it up, throw it in the bin, use it as confetti, reuse the envelope. It's yours to do whatever you want with. I've gifted it to you, it now belongs to you. So this is how I do it. Um, I don't have the storage facilities to keep everything in a box. Um, and it's just a lot of paper. <laughs> I already have a lot of paper here with my stamps for my stamp shop and I don't need more paper hanging around that I don't need. So let's get into it and I'll show you how I store it. I think what we'll do first is we'll go through, this is a old photo album <laughs> and what I've done is I have literally just put all of my letters that I have responded to in here and do you know what, I love this. I love flicking through, seeing everyone's different handwriting, all the different papers. If I'm looking for a letter from someone um, in particular. I can find it straight away because I remember what the letter paper looked like. I don't necessarily always remember what the envelope that went with that paper looked like. Um, I've also got this <laughs> used for some storage of stamps just in the meantime until I sort myself out there. But I have found this very, very useful. Um, I just love looking at everyone's got such different handwriting and every country has different types of papers and everyone's got their own unique spin on it and I just love looking at it all in one collective place. So that is all, it's not all of my pen pal letters, there's probably about 10 I have yet to respond to and put in here. Yes, I am very behind. I'm so sorry to my pen pals, but they all know I've had a sick child um, and I'm just very busy and it's currently Christmas time and it is just crazy. So that is where all of my letters are currently stored. Um, it has got quite chunky. It doesn't sit very flat um, in my bookshelf. I do probably need a better system, um, probably like a binder because it will have the thicker spine with room to expand a bit. Um, but I just really like these, the size of these photo um, pages and pretty much every type of paper nearly fits in there. There are some I've had to fold like this one, fold it quite a few times over. But that for me has worked for the last two years. This bad boy is a bullet journal that I bought from Kayser Craft for like $5. And I bought this at the very beginning when I first started pen paling about two years ago. And I just wanted to try to keep things together. Um, there is a, quite a bit of washi tape in here just to hide addresses um, and full names of people. But this is also, this is so much fun to look through. I look through this quite a lot just for fun. And every single piece of mail, something from it goes in here. I will be retiring this journal in the next couple of days at the end of 2020. Um, hence the rubber bands to help keep it all together um, in my storage or in my bookshelf on my desk. But um, I just really enjoy looking through this as well and seeing what everyone sent me and remembering what the envelopes looked like and just keeping special pieces of ephemera. So in here starts from my very first letter I received from the lovely Veronique in the Netherlands. She was one of the very first people that asked to be my pen pal and 
we still chat today and she is just one of the loveliest people so you don't have to send me something inside the envelope you don't have to send me any goodies for something to go in here um you know just the things from the outside you know she did some stamping and all some stickers and a little bit of washi tape and that's all i needed to put in here i do like to put the first name and the country the date that i received the mail and kind of what was included just as a memory a keepsake um, because it's always very hard to try to keep track of what <laughs> was sent to me from who and I just kind of like to make sure that I don't send them anything too similar um, or you know that if they send me we're very generous and they sent me a big chunk of something I'd like to be able to do that back as well so um, I've got all sorts of things in here some postcards this was also from an envelope I just cut out the corner and I cut out my name and I just stuck down there was some um, post-it notes in the envelope this one just beautiful absolutely stunning from Melissa and there's the backing there and just I don't know I just didn't know what to do with all of these little mail tags and things so I just wanted somewhere to put them all got some sand here from Texas which is so cool I can't believe I got through customs but it's there and it's amazing and it's all fully sealed and so much fun gave me a lot of inspiration too for sending things um, just you know just some fun bits like just all of these stamps were on the envelope and then you know, this washi tape and sometimes I just couldn't pull an envelope apart so the whole thing got glued in here um, just because I just yeah it just all went so nicely or it was just you know cancelled so nicely I didn't want to ruin all of that so sometimes full things do go in here there wasn't a lot to put in there sometimes you know I'll just pick off all of this was just on the envelope you know the prepaid um, mail and this one from Poland as well some just you know tea <laughs> a little tea um, packet I don't know it's just it's something really textural to me I love to feel it and you know some of these pages are so thick and it's just so much fun to see what everyone's different style is like and yeah I just really enjoy flipping through this I really do I love keeping the customs forms as well if I can pull them off you know I've got pictures of my pen pals pets in here as well which is really fun and postage stamps from the mail yeah I love it wax seals from packaging one of my pen pals made me a card for my son's first birthday which is just so sweet so that entire thing got put in here <laughs> how do you keep your letters and mail tags do you just literally keep them in the envelope that they came in in our box do tell me in the comments below my pen pal made me this bookmark i like to use it there i just um yeah for, for me this is good because i love to flip through it just see everything in an eclectic way but i know a lot of other people like to have everything together but i don't know everyone is different as well always remember that everyone is different everyone has their own style storage facilities postcards here this one just came with a little card so i just kept that whole envelope together because it was only like a single piece of card so i was able to just put all that in you know, this is really simple this was just some stickers from the envelope and I just cut out a corner and that was it <laughs> so 
here's another card from a customer, which was just lovely. Some more. I got a couple of pieces of mail from customers by the looks of it as well. I started putting orders in here as well. Like this is all the stuff that came in my London Gifties order. Um, so I just really like the packaging and I wanted to remember it. So I started putting in stuff like that as well. An order from JP Paper here. Like this one was a hand painted envelope. So I had to keep that because that was just really fun. Mail pad there another fun envelope I just had to keep all together this is my order from Sarah's vintage post and just look at all the fun stamps and washi that she used so I literally just filled up the page with the stamps from the paper um, this was a giveaway I won so there was just a itty bitty card in there so same thing I just kept all that together These little dots get stuck and they've actually taken circles off <laughs> the stamps on the other page you can see the rainbow here is transferred I don't know if you can see that but the rainbow from here has transferred to this little dot thing I don't know what these are but they're so sticky so my stamps are ruined but I was able to put a bit of baking paper between it just to hold it all together and same there, there's a couple there. And that's it. Um, this was actually an order that I got from Mel Molly Creations. But she's a Patreon of mine. And I absolutely adore this envelope. Because she used stamps that she got from being my Patreon. As well as one of my Christmas envelope seals from my last Patreon as well. And... It just, when it arrived in my mailbox, I was so excited because she's just decorated this so beautifully with things that I sent her and I was just so blown away. It's so generous to send it back to me. I just, I stuck the whole envelope in there. I couldn't help myself. So I've got probably, like I said, there's about 10 more letters I need to reply to in here. So I keep everything together in the envelope until I reply and then I take everything out all the ephemera and I put it into my to use. I do love to use all the ephemera that I get from my pen pals. Um, love to use them in my creative journals or creating more mail as well or sharing. So once I have all of those letters replied to, everything else that I received in 2020 will be going in here. There isn't too much space left, um, but that is my system in a very brief nutshell. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, do let me know. Um, if you're one of my pen pals, I hope that you haven't taken offense to this, but I just really love the way of storing it. And I love being able to see everyone's letters together and see all the envelopes together. And I love being able to reuse, reduce and recycle. It's something that I'm really passionate about. And I get so excited when I see a decorated envelope because I want to be able to see what can I use for my creative journal, what can I use on other mail and I love the fact that one piece of paper doesn't have to just be for you know one or two uses, we are reusing already but you know they can be used multiple times and um, you know it can be enjoyed by more people than just myself if I'm able to reuse it. So. Um, I really hope that this video gave you some inspiration and maybe gave you some ideas. And if you do have any questions, please let me know. But in the meantime, I hope that you're staying well, staying safe, and that you're going to have a fabulous ringing in of 2021. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.